Hi, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. Today we are going to talk about the takeaway and helping you to stop rolling those forearms. Why is that bad? Because when you start overusing the forearms, we not only sort of get off plane, but it causes rerouting. Now there's two factors to this. One sort of mechanical, another one is more of a mindset. So we're going to cover both but you kind of build up slowly with this sensation, this feeling, and this uh, different intent. Your takeaway will be spot on. And what that does is in essence, help the rest of the swing be a lot more natural, a lot easier, which is only gonna help us, right? So let's get to it. The takeaway, right? A tendency, too many people is trying to not only kind of move off the ball where we're kind of going this way, it's that essence of the club's got to go, we're trying to hit it hard and it's that intent, right? It's all about sort of feeling like we're hitting at the golf ball, where everything really has to be much more um, in line with our mind and everything about sending something that way. And when we've got that feeling of, okay, I want the ball to follow this line, all right? I want the ball to follow along that line. We don't want a straight line all the way back and all the way through because it'd be fine if we were standing like this, okay? But we don't, we stand on the side. So that, in essence, becomes an arc around us, okay? But we want that arc to remain straight to us. And one of the ways that we can do that is not by rolling the forearms. This is the key that I want you to focus on. Really little else. All I want you to think about is notice as you take away the club, where's your elbow pointing? Is it pointing you know, further this way? Is it pointing further this way? Or are we staying kind of keeping pointing it towards us, right? So the simple checkpoint that I want you to have because you might be thinking, all right, I need to keep the club outside the hands or something along these lines, all right? But really, the feeling we want is to make sure that the forearms kind of stay uh, keeping the, the back of the forearm, the elbow, pointing more towards the target. So we're here, all right? And one of the little triggers that can really help that to stop lifting up, to stop this butt of the club raising to sort of have this kind of position, which you might find a bit extreme, or it's something along this nature, and all of a sudden, from that angle, okay, if I do this, no matter how hard I try, I haven't got a good feeling of a golf swing. I'm sort of having to move off the ball a little bit too much. Everything's kind of out of sync, and already, within the first like couple of seconds, or less than, obviously, microseconds, we're out of sync, okay? And the way we want to sort of feel to keep in sync in a nice fluid sort of takeaway. Now the swing is not just about the takeaway, but if we can repeat this action, the rest becomes a lot easier, okay? So the feeling we want, just notice where your elbow is pointing. But as you take away, I want you to feel like your forearms are pointing towards the target just that little bit longer, okay? And I only really want you to swing about halfway back to about here to practice this, because that's the drill. Because I don't necessarily want you being here and then feeling like you've got to lift up, okay? We're tilting down, we're staying down, and it's just this movement and momentum. So do some very slow sort of takeaways, feeling like the, the, the belly button, the club, everything's kind of working in unison. But here's where it's so crucial. I want you to, even when you're doing chip shots, okay, even when you're doing chip shots, trying to keep those forearms together, pointing towards the target that little bit longer, just here, doesn't matter what happens after that, okay? So we're keeping those forearms pointing together, but I want to really focus on that intermediate point. I really want you to focus just there. You do that, you've got something, it's not just an arbitrary takeaway. We're ensuring that our takeaway 
matches the shot that we want to hit. So it's here, okay? So it's there. And we're just doing that little takeaway, little chip shot, to make sure that the takeaway matches the shot we want to hit. If I was to whip it on the inside, okay, so there's my target line, going along here towards that green uh, or yellow flag. If that was my intended target, okay, and I was to pull the club on the inside this way, that's not gonna help me very much because now I've gotta come over the top to try and reroute it. Obviously I overcooked that somewhat, but there's the idea. The same thing applies if we're, okay, I'm going just left of that yellow flag. That's my intermediate point. But if all of a sudden I kind of bring it out here or move off the ball this way, that doesn't match where I want to send it. So really feel like your takeaway makes sense to the shot you're trying to hit. Okay, just little chip shots. Give even the takeaway a specific objective. Now, if you want, it can definitely help you just to practice this on your short game. Just note, even if you're hitting little chip shots in the backyard or at home, just note whether your forearms are rolling or whether you're keeping them pointing towards the target. Because if we go a little bit bigger, it becomes a little bit easier. But let's just get this sensation right, even for just little chip shots. You do those little chip shots along your intermediate point, keeping the forearms working, sort of pointing that way, so we're not rolling, we're really conscious of this line here, we're just up and down, okay? It's giving you the foundation, the building blocks that you want, which can only help. So, that's all I want you to work on with this. Just note what you're doing with your forearms, just note what you're doing with your takeaway, and is it matching the specific shot you want. Work on that foundation, work on those keys, and it's gonna help you perform three quarter, full swings, and we ramp up from there. But, you know, it's winter time for most of us, but even if you just learn this kind of length of swing, your golf game is gonna be so much better for it. So, in summary, make sure that you're very specific, even in your takeaway. Now, just feel like everything's kind of working together. We've got soft hands, but keeping the forearms pointing, uh, the back of the forearms to the target a little bit longer, this way. It's gonna feel, I don't want you to be rigid with it, because we still want supple for, you know, we still want suppleness. We still want to be able to feel the weight of the club. But that there is the takeaway. And that's the foundation of your swing. It's not so much about positions, it's just about kind of not getting out of position. So you don't have to over compensate, all right? So there we go. I'm gonna do some more specifically on the takeaway and rolling those forearms and whatnot. But um, if you have any questions, leave them below. And there's also a really cool little series um, that thousands of people have really enjoyed that's free that's gonna help you get more distance and you can do the stuff at home as well. So, hi, I'm Alex Forte and I wanna introduce you to the Art of Simple Golf Club. This was born out of the overcomplication that plagues the golf industry, that kills your golf game. So what we have done is recreate a real golf club that you play wherever you are in the world online. So we have the clubhouse, we have the 19th hole, we have the putting green, the short game area, the driving range, the lesson tee, and we have the golf course where it matters the most to really help you play your ideal golf game every time you tee it up. We have new courses added every single month to help you go from A to B all the way through to Z. These series are designed to help you play your very best golf without overloading you with information, with just one or two bite-sized tips that you can go and apply right now. I will see you on the other side.